talking about as far as things that are going to start manifesting here on planet Earth, does it even matter um, what reality you're in at that point? I mean, were the people that have a different reality that's not even aware or completely oblivious to the information that we're talking about at this time, are they even going to even notice or even be aware of what's going on? Well, you have a good question there, and I'm going to answer it, and I'll try to be as careful as I can. You know, right. we each have our own individual mind pattern through which we filter our God mind and project out our version of reality. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, as a species, humanity, there is a foundational or common mind pattern for the entire species of fundamental mind patterns to which we all agree which is why we are part of the same species and live on the same planet. Because we've agreed about these certain uh, points and aspects of thought that we all project simultaneously to create the common reality that we experience on a daily basis. Within that common reality, our individual personalities and mind patterns create subdivisions of that reality that we experience as our personal lives. So, when we have uh, mind control and programming and blue beam project, etc., the Illuminati or the powers that be focus on that commonality or that common fundamental mind pattern pervasive through all the species so that we all see the same thing and experience the same thing. Now, how we perceive that same thing will be unique to each of us. So that when they do finally beam out the staged alien invasion and there's fleets of vehicles in the sky attacking the Earth, etc., etc., humanity as a whole will become fearful and frightened and see these things and, and, and not understand it. But there will be individuals who have a subdivision of that mind pattern unique to them who will understand and not be afraid and not see it the way it's supposed to be for the, the uh, common, common uh, species. So right. I explained it uh, adequately, but we will, as a species, experience this, but as individuals, we will have a different perception of it. Do you understand? Oh, okay, right. Yes, I do. I, I, I most certainly do. And we're at the top of the first hour. Um, make sure you log on to my website, isiswisdom.com. That is I-S-I-S -I -S wisdom, W-I-S-D-O-M.com for those who are hip-hop, political, social, conscious, spiritual people. If you love hip-hop and you just want to find out what's going on, log on to wordonthestreetsmag.com. Make sure you check out Stuart's website, expansions.com. Please cop his book. True Blood, I mean, Blue Blood, True Blood, I always get that mixed up. <laughs> always get that mixed up. Um, and he also has several other books, other books on his website. He also has a lot of information. Make sure you guys check it out. Sign up to his newsletter. Um, uh, if you, I see a lot of you guys on the call. I see a lot of people on the call. There's a lot of people in the chat room, Stuart. They've been throwing questions at me left and right. It's ridiculous. Okay. For those who are not on the call, 347-884-8787, please press 1. If you have a question for Stuart, and we will be more than happy to allow you to ask him questions. I know a lot of you guys are just sitting there like, like wow. <laughs> I've been wowing, too, for the past couple months. Um, okay, Stuart, so <sighs> this is, this is uh, for the average person that's hearing this that doesn't have, that's coming into certain openness and awareness, and the information that you're giving out there will, will, will blow the average person's mind completely out of the water, just like, whew, like that's, that's a why, lot to do with. That's why God made vodka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. Mm -hmm. Now, um, have you had, now since you've been putting this information out here, have you had any, any experiences from the government, you know, coming after you and things of that nature? <laughs> have you had, I had to, I got to go there, you know what I'm saying, because... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I I have. You know, it's kind of like, a, what's my daily smackdown today, you know? Um, wow. Yes, yes, uh, they do always attack me uh, and a 
around me. Um, you know, uh, it's a lot of sabotage, absolutely. But, and people say to me, just like you mentioned earlier, or actually uh, the caller mentioned earlier, you know, why are you still alive? How come they haven't killed you for doing all those things? That's a good question. And I was told a long time ago when I was being deprogrammed by government people because they, they thought I was going to die and they wanted information out of me, I was point blank told that I was more dangerous dead than alive because of my training. And they knew that if they killed me and I was no longer associated with my physical body, guess who I'm going to go after? Right. And, and you know what? That's real talk. I explain to people that people are, um, that, that, that when you transition to a different form, because you know energy doesn't die, it just, it mm-hmm. just transfers, yeah. um, that, that you become more powerful in that realm than you do, um, than you are in, in the, uh, in the physical realm. Now, I, I'd like to touch on um, some, some uh, uh, the ascension process that's going on with human beings for those who 